Hey kids, what are we waiting on out here? Alligators. How big are they? 12 feet. 12 13 feet? 13 feet, 14 feet. Okay, yeah, last night I, I came down here this morning at about 5.30 and it, it was some guys from Mountain Brook, Alabama weighing a gator that was about 400 pounds. And the, uh, the, the, the wildlife biologist said that the, the guy had just left with one that was 14 feet, 2 inches long and weighed 838 pounds, which is a brand new state record. So I caught him in Camden at the ice house. He had just spent $70. That's how much it takes to ice down an 838 pound alligator. $70 worth of ice. Here comes the gator. There's a gator right here. And the crowds are gathering. Here go, boys. Get out of the truck. Come on, get in the buggy. Y'all gonna put your chains around. Y'all measured in Selma, it was 12, 12, 8, and the, the official measurement was 12, 4. But the weight was 720 pounds, and this is the 34th gator that's been brought in here to Roland Cooper State Park off of the Alabama River this year. I'm here with the five guys that caught this gator. Who was the tag holder? Clint Norris. Clint, tell us your name and where you're from and a little bit about this gator. Clint Norris from Sardis, Alabama. Um, we got him. That's all I can tell you. It was a chore, but we got him. Yeah. Well, Clint, everybody's been waiting today for y'all to bring this gator in. Y'all got it hooked up with him early this morning, I think around 5 o'clock. Right. You didn't make it to the guys leave at 6 o'clock. Y'all didn't make it, so you've been riding around with him all day. As you can see, the crowd knew y'all was coming via Facebook and everything. And uh, what you've been doing with him all day, how many pictures have been taken of him today? Hundreds. <laughs> We've, uh, we iced him down once we got him out of the water, which was at 11 o'clock. Uh, we started, hooked up at 5.15, got him out at 11 a.m. this morning. 11 a.m. and then you had to wait till the station opened up at 8 o'clock tonight to bring him in here and weigh it. Now, did y'all, you say you was looking for a bigger gator than this. You know last night a 838 pounder came in here. Was it one y'all were looking for bigger than this one, Rick? It would have beat that record? He would have been close. That's all I can tell you. Real close. Clint, you've been on this Alabama River how long? And, and ha have you ever seen as many gators out there as out there right now? No, sir. Uh, been on the river, well, I'm 36 years old, and I've been on it 36 years. Well, I tell you what, congratulations. Now let's talk to everybody. Your name is? Blake Jones. Blake Jones from Selma, Alabama. Blake, what, what, did, you, what did you play in this, in this gator hunt? I own the boat, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, 
where would you place gator hunting in the scale of, of the outdoors and hunting, deer hunting, turkey hunting? Where would you put gator hunting on the list? More exciting than any of those. I've never seen anything like it, I tell you. It has, it has created more excitement. Next year, I was talking to one of the biologists a while ago. They're talking about increasing the tags another 50 next year. I think that next year it's going to be unbelievable, the people down here. Yes, I do too. I need to step them up a little more. When did you know you had a fight on your hand? When we hooked them with the Zepco 33. <laughs> <laughs> this area is blessed with wildlife. It's blessed with all kind of outdoor activities. And I think this gator hunt is just going to move it up another notch and just make the black belt more famous for something other than, than uh, pulp and paper. We got alligators and deer and turkey. That's it. Man, thank y'all guys, man. Yes, sir. And, uh...